Hello everybody, welcome to our Skeleton Lord boss fight for Dark Souls 2. I'm Ryan Telgenick from GamesRadar.com. And I'm Lorenzo Valeria. Now, Lorenzo, you and I talked about this boss from the beta footage in our excellent uh, Dark Souls 2 weekly video show called, appropriately enough, Dark Souls 2 Weekly. Yeah, we did, and uh, so this one's uh, sort of like the Royal Rat Vanguard in that you have to fight multiple enemies uh, all at the same time. Yeah, and but it can be tricky, but... Now, you have, and now one thing to know is you, there are three skeleton lords that spawn at once. Um, the, uh, occasionally, they will also summon skeleton minions. All of the skeletons that you're going to fight, not only the lords, but also their minions, all share the same health pool. So every skeleton you're attacking, you're chipping away at the boss's health. Now, uh, there are one of, I think... I, I can't really recall, to be honest, but uh, at least one of the skeleton lords is a magic caster, and he'll shoot AoE fireballs at you. These giant bone pillars are extremely helpful, so be sure to hang out around those. Yeah, and here's uh, some of those other minions here. They're, they're just the basic skeleton guys with the sword and the shields. So they're not uh, too difficult, but... Uh, at first, yeah. because as the fight goes on and as you kill more of the actual lords... Now, you'll see that I killed, like, one right away you take advantage of the time that there are no skeletons up and I'm not sure actually if they get summoned after you kill a boss or if it's a timed thing after you take out one of the lords or if it's a timed thing so uh, just to be safe take advantage of that time and uh, really try and focus down probably one of the melee guys at first the magic guy is pretty easy to deal with he often just hangs back and shoots at you but always hang out behind these giant bone, bone pillars you'll see I keep going behind him to heal or to lure some of the little minions back there to beat them up um, either way kind of works. Uh, notice, Ryan, you use the, uh, your, your little life gems a lot. Are, are you, uh, do you usually save those a lot, or, or do you go for the, the Estus Flask? Uh, so, well, it's the th here's the thing. Depending on how upgraded your Estus Flasks are, the life gems potentially heal for more over the long term. So if I'm, you know, at about half health, uh, I'll probably use a life gem over my flask. Um... Oof, yeah, even blocking that fireball does a good amount of damage. Uh, no, the life gems are just really helpful in general because sometimes I don't want to waste my flask because there's a finite amount. Right. And while they heal much quicker, if I have... I, you know, I'm, I'm more likely to use the SS when I'm very low just because that way I can much quicker get some health back. But right. I, think, I think that the life gems are extremely useful, especially when you're pretty low or uh, have at least half health or more. Right. When you feel a little safer, you could use a life exactly. gem, let it regenerate a little bit slower and not waste your SS flask when that that's, comes in handy in an emergency. Yeah. And uh, now as you, as you take out these bosses, they start su summoning more powerful skeletons take advantage of their long spawning times and just beat them up while they're still putting their parts together because right. you saw I just took out two right away and that's much easier to manage when you only have two of these big ones we're chasing you around um, also in terms of equipment loadout what I'm using here is again the starting shield from the warrior class uh, I think I'm using the Dranglick armor uh, that you get shortly after if you drop down that pit near where you beat the pursuer uh, that's where you'll find that armor set and uh, and then I'm using a broad sword, and at this point I have it upgraded, probably to a plus four. Um, but yeah, after you beat the final skeleton lord, then you get to fight the stupid uh, <laughs> bone wheel, pinwheel uh, skeletons. I forget which their what their name is exactly. Again, kill them as quickly as you can while they're spawning because these are really tough guys to manage if you've got four of them spinning around and they do a lot of damage. Yeah, and these guys are uh, from the original uh, Dark Souls and they were pain in the ass, <laughs> especially if they get you um, like uh, on a straight on roll attack, yeah. they'll they'll diminish your, your health really fast. Yeah. So that'll be it for our Skeleton Laura's boss video. If you want to see more boss videos for Dark Souls 2, be sure to subscribe. We've got them all here. And also check us out at gamesradar.com.